people today i want to come to you real quick and it's about interrogations and i want to thank everybody that has been donating to the channel we're growing we're moving forward and we're steady getting this together but the reason why i want to go over interrogations is because i dealt with somewhat of interrogations during my podcast and I wanted to give you a secondary aspect of that exact thing because we have we talked about police encounters and now I want to talk about why and how to deal with that and what that entails because we know by nature by the very conduct that's being displayed in video after video after video after video now here's the aspect of why that is happening. I actually want to start off with Fraser v. Cup, 394 U.S. 731, 1969. On its own, police deception is not constituted misconduct during an investigation. Now, the reason why that is, is because they are taught to manipulate the conversation. This is why whenever you're dealing with a police officer, you have the right to remain silent. And even if they are interacting with you, you do not have to speak to them. Because again, that right to remain silent. I actually reiterated that with another case a couple videos ago. I'll go over that during a live because I'm going to be doing another live session later on today. But right now, we're going to talk about that and also in the live session today i'm going to deal with um attorneys and their aspects when they're representing you but again back to the interrogation oregon v matheson 429 us 492 1977 an interview of one suspect of a crime by a police officer will have coercive aspects to it why because the interrogation courses by design it is designed to put you in a tense emotional anxious state things such as bringing you coffee bringing you soda these things agitate the body these things cause us reaction that's why they offer them to you they're not doing it to be nice they're getting it to you so you can run your mouth. So the most important thing when dealing with a police officer is to shut up. Because no matter what the situation is, their life or their duty by design is to get you to incriminate yourself. I'll say that one more time. Their duty by design is to get you to incriminate yourself. That is why it's important to understand their entire job as taught is to manipulate. Interrogations are coercive by design. So understanding that allows you to remain one step ahead. Now, is this video is really brief. But again, I'm going to be going deeper into this because this is very important. I'm going to go into the techniques they use when they're dealing with us. I'm going to go into how to counter those techniques. I'm actually going to show videos on where the techniques are being used most often. You're not going to see them on the first 48. You're going to see them in regular street encounters. So as we go through it, I'm going to depict that, and I'm also going to go with how you deal with those in court. So for right now, just keep that in mind. So until next time.